guys uh, welcome to tech design so in this tutorial we will discuss on projected view so as a name suggested projected view is nothing but uh, it is a view which is taken uh, from a projected side of uh, an uh, base view so in order to activate a projected view as you can see here this is a small projected view icon so which is hidden now so because uh, we don't have any view that is existing here so basically in order to create a projected view you should have any kind of view already existing in your drawing so in order to do that what we can do is i'll just go to base view and this is my model which is there in um, modeling workbench which is a sheet metal model so what i will do is i'll just make it a two is to one uh, in order to make it uh, a little bigger so i'll just place the uh, you know base view so as soon as you uh, you know create a base view uh, you can see the projected view window will open so this will be by default in all the you know nx uh, uh, applications so this will uh, you know automatically trigger uh, projected view um, window so if you don't want this you can just close it so now uh, if you uh, there are many number of ways how you can activate this projected view so either you can just go to projected view here and it will be activated as soon as you select that or else we have another one more option so we can just right click on a border and go to add projected view on that view and also you can just go to uh, the existing view and you can just right click here and go to add projected view so this is how the projected view looks and we have you know all the angles so 0 to 1 360 degree angle where you can just create an um, you know projected view and we can just go to these options how this actually looks so we can see here vector option so it is inferred so inferred is nothing but you can just place at any angle either 0 degree or 45 degree or any 30 degree uh, at any angle you can just uh, place in a projected view so this is what does it does mean and we can have also defined so you just need to provide a vector so along which vector uh, you just need to create and um, you know projected view say for example i'll just create, select this uh, you know edge so as soon as this edge is selected you can see only along this direction uh, we can able to create and projected view so in some cases what happens is suppose you have any slots existing on this uh, flange and you know you need to provide uh, you know dimensions for that uh, flange so in that case you can just take these kind of you know defined uh, uh, way of uh, you know um, placing a projected view so usually a uh, inferred will be the most uh, you know useful um, you know uh, view and if you want to change the reverse direction and you can just uh, go here and change the direction the direction how it affects you know so you can just uh, look at the you know uh, the projected view here so as soon as i toggle it uh, it will change the direction of uh, a weaving angle and also we can see here uh, the method so this is a placement method how you want to you know place the uh, projected view so if it is a horizontal only along horizontal view we can able to place uh, you, you don't have any other angles here and if it is a vertical only along vertical you can able to place and uh, we can also have a perpendicular to the line so this is simple uh, similar to uh, whatever we have discussed in define so you just need to provide an uh, you know um, a line so along which you need to uh, we wanted to create so it will take a perpendicular to that line and we also have a hinge hinge is nothing but a similar to the inferred one so you will have all the uh, you know angles where you want to create an um, projected view and uh, this is all associative alignment is nothing but uh, as we all discussed in base view or uh, view creation wizard so this uh, the view will be associated to the parent view as soon as the parent view is moved uh, along with that uh, you know uh, the projected view also moves so if you don't want that you can just you know switch it off and now next we have our settings here so uh, there are multiple settings here i just wanted to make sure that all these you know will be explained to you uh, once all the views are completed so these uh, settings will remain same for all the views uh, some some of the you know additional uh, you know settings will be there for different different views but uh, by default all these you know options will be there so we will take this in in some other uh, tutorial so in this tutorial we will only discuss on projected view and also we can see here uh, non sectioned uh, you know items so objects say for example you have uh, an assembly of around 10 items and you don't want to show the you know uh, section uh, view of any of the components so you can just uh, you know highlight those uh, items over here so in that case uh, the section we will not be shown for the selected item items so uh, once you, uh, you know set everything is done so you just need to you know uh, click on uh, left click on the mouse so that we will be uh, placed 
So this is how it looks as you can see here this is the weaving angle so the along this view uh, you know along this direction uh, the the view A will be viewed and this is the way how it looks. So I you can you can change anything whatever you want over here so these settings and all the all these settings will be discussed later. So we will take one more session on uh, how the settings works in drafting workbench. I hope you enjoyed uh, the way uh, we discussed on this projected view. So if you have any doubts and you know concerns you can just comment in the below.